Hey there, and welcome to another edition of Two Two Tuesday. Two tips, two minutes each. Today's topic is mascara. All right, the first tip is basically the what not to do with your mascara. Okay, so the first thing of what not to do is don't pump it, okay? No more pumping. Basically, you know, there's air particles, dust, and all kinds of crazy things in the air that you usually see when it, you know, flashes across the light from the window. And then you don't see it any other time, but it's still there. So, you know, you pull it out and you're pushing all of the dust and whatever back into the air or into the tube, but this is a dark, wet, moist environment. So the more you're pumping all that in there, just not good. Okay, so instead, you're going to twist. Twist that product on, twist it out, and that's it, no more pumping. Okay, the other what not to do is basically just go into town like crazy, like, like just keep going like this. I'm like, stop, let's be intentional with how we use the wand and where we put it on the lashes. That's gonna be tip number two. Um, so since tip number one is what not to do, you're not gonna take it and just keep going over and over and over. Cause really what you're probably just grabbing is the tips, maybe the middle to the tips, and you just keep going over and over. And really, that can create the clumping because you're just not really intentional on purpose. Okay, so what not to do, pump, go crazy like over and over. <laughs> also, don't, the third part of what not to do is hold on to your mascaras too long. Don't hold on to them too long. You know, the, the beauty industry says, every three months throw them away, but pretty much you can tell. Um, when they feel drier, maybe they flake a little bit, maybe your eyes feel irritated. So, I mean, your body's gonna tell you, your eyes are gonna tell you, the tube's gonna tell you. So, um, yeah, you wanna replace your mascara pretty frequently. Okay, what to do? So, this is gonna be specifically how to put on our lash intensity mascara, but I'll also do some general rules of thumb too. So, this wand, actually is two wands in one. So if I hold it sideways, you can see there's a lot of long bristles that go up and down. But let's see if I can do it like this. Kind of, a little bit. Um, on the other side, those are the ones going up and down. But on this side that's facing you, it's actually rounded on the top. It's like a, a semicircle going across the top. So this is two wands in one. So I'm going to take the semicircle, the right, the moon shaped one on the side. And this is true for all mascaras, but you're gonna grip the bottom, let's see if I can look here. Go as close as you can to the base and push and just do gentle wiggles side to side. And then you can kind of curl around, come around your lashes. So I kind of go to the inside, wiggle up, and then you're gonna go to the outside. And you just kind of hold on to those lashes delicately right, as you just coat them left and right. We're not going crazy, we're taking care of them. <laughs> left and right, okay. So that on our lash intensity, that's adding volume, but then when you turn it sideways to those long bristles and use those long bristles, then you can extend it. And that's the lengthening aspect of the lash intensity. So the first one adds volume, then you can go back. When you come back, I'm just barely touching the tips. Okay, I'm not going the whole lash over and over. So just a little bit on the tips. And then that is the lengthening part of the lash intensity. So it's two bristles in one, long, and then the volume. But can we see a difference between the two? I never know which way to angle my eyes. <laughs> so I'll angle always. <laughs> All right, so wiggle, wiggle. Tip number two, two tips, two minutes. See you next time. Bye.